Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. Got a question for you. Do you ever feel like the world is just screaming at you from every direction? Like you're caught in a, a storm of notifications and breaking news and constant demands for your attention. I gotta tell you, it is not your imagination. We are drowning in information and I think it's doing us more harm than we may realize. And that's what I wanna talk with you about today. Today's video is brought to you by some of America's most trusted RV dealers. You can connect with them by grabbing your phone and shooting the QR code that you see on the screen or you will find a link to them in the description down below. So, we live in an era of overwhelming stimulation, a reality that Alvin Toffler warned us about over 50 years ago in his landmark book named Future Shock. Remember that Toffler predicted that man's mind, man's mind could not keep up with the the rapid advancements in technology. And if you look at today's world, it seems like his words are almost prophetic. And that was back in the early 70s. Now back then, technology and media, they were growing. But now, we are completely saturated. I mean, the average person today is bombarded with more information in a week than someone a generation ago would have processed in months or maybe even years. What does that do to us? Really, what does it do to us? More importantly, are we even aware of the consequences? Think about the, the distractions we face today that weren't even around 20 years ago. Social media pings and 24-hour news cycles, email notifications, apps that demand our attention, streaming services, and an and endless flood of content from TikTok to Instagram stories. It, it is not that we are just constantly connected either. It's that we are being we're being screamed at from every direction. Every headline seems like breaking news. Every notification feels urgent and everything is designed to capture our attention even if it's only for just a few seconds. We have become accustomed to quick consumption. Make fast food as a good example. Make it fast and make it good. News has transformed from thoughtful reporting to a never-ending stream of Dopamine hits, each piece of information competing with the next for who can yell at you the loudest. But what are we really consuming? I mean, it's as if we're living on a diet of mental junk food. It's flavorful, easy to digest, but devoid of any real nourishment. And just like a, a physical diet, when all you eat is fast food, the long-term effects I think are devastating. It is not easy to say no. It's not. It's not easy to say no to the constant stream of media. Just like it's hard to avoid all the junk food on every street corner, but it's hard to avoid that breaking news also, the notifications, the pinging on our cell phones. But again, what's the cost? Anxiety? Lack of focus? Poor decision making? We have been trained to react instead of to think to scroll past rather than to pause. We've traded reflection for reaction, and we're paying the price, I think. Let me draw a comparison here to the uh, Jenny Doman story. I recently shared a video about how she and her family narrowly escaped death in an RV fire. It was a horrible story, a horrible experience, and five years ago, this story would have dominated the conversation. It would have. Everybody would have been talking about the dangers of RV fires, how to prevent them, what went wrong, and what could be done to protect others, right? Well, today, we get a, a momentary spike in attention, but soon enough, people are like, uh, well, what's next? We've lost our capacity to sit with a story, sit with it, to think deeply about it, and to truly appreciate the weight of what happened. What scares me, though, is that we haven't just lost the attention spans, but we have been trained to do so. Trained to do it. We've allowed it to happen. We have been trained to consume, discard, and move on to the next thing without truly understanding the message or its implications. If we don't take time to, to pause, to reflect, to think about what's important and what kind of decisions that we are really making, what kind of world are we really creating? Maybe it doesn't seem to matter and I'm seeing something that other people don't or they don't care. I don't like what we have been trained to become. 
And I'm deeply concerned, deeply concerned about where it is leading us. If we can't stop, if we can't learn to say no to the constant barrage of breaking news and the distractions, what happens to our ability to think clearly, to make decisions, thoughtful decisions, and to appreciate the real stories that matter? This isn't just about media either. It's about, I think it's about how we live, how we prioritize, and how we consume information. Are we going to keep on feeding the mental equivalent of fast food or fast food diets into our mind? Or can we train ourselves to seek out healthy, nutritious content that helps us grow, helps us reflect, and become better people? I'd love to know what you think. How do you deal with the overwhelming stimulation in your life? What changes have you made to ensure that you're consuming healthier media or messages? Or are you more like, <laughs> more like I am and think that maybe we are too far gone? Let me hear from you. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope that you'll hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman, reminding you, be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home.